In this video, I will show you how to shrink your Microsoft Word documents by one page. Let's get started. So here I am in Microsoft Word, and I have a wonderful composition going here. And as you can see, it's about three pages long. Well, what if I absolutely must have it be a two-page document, not a three-page document? Well, there's a hidden tool in Microsoft Word that can help me to quickly convert this three-page paper into a two-page paper, and it's called Shrink One Page. But where can I find it? It's not on the layout ribbon. I don't see it there anywhere. What about the design ribbon? I don't see it there. What I need to do to get this tool that's called Shrink One Page is I need to go to the Quick Access Toolbar here in the upper left, and I'll click this Customize button, and I'll go down here to More Commands. Right now, Word is showing me just the most popular commands. So I'm gonna switch that to All Commands, and then I'll browse down and look for Shrink. And there it is, shrink one page. So I'll click there, and then I'll click to add it to the Quick Access Toolbar. I'll click OK. So now I get a new button here on my Quick Access Toolbar, and let's give it a try. Now before I click this button, notice what Microsoft Word tells me here. I get a little pop-up explaining the tool. Attempt to shrink the document by one page by slightly reducing the size and spacing of the text. So that's what's gonna happen when I click this button. Word is going to attempt to do this, and it's gonna try to do it by adjusting the spacing and the size of the text. So just be aware that if you like 11 point font or 12 point font or whatever it is, that may change in your document. It may go down to 10 point font, 9 point font. What about the line spacing? That also may be adjusted. The other thing to be aware of before I click this button is that it does say attempt. Word is going to attempt to shrink the document by one page. So let's give it a try. I'll just click the button. You probably noticed my font size changed. Let's browse down. There's page one, there's page two. There is no page three. So it worked and it did it very quickly, very effectively. Now, instead of a three page document, I have a two page document. So shrink one page can be a very handy tool. Now notice that once it's on the quick access toolbar, it's calling it shrink to fit. But in the customized quick access toolbar options, when I go to more commands, notice that it's called shrink one page. And honestly, I wish that they would call it something other than shrink one page and shrink to fit. In my opinion, a better name would be shrink by one page. So it's not shrinking one page, it's shrinking by one page. So I like that a lot better, but uh, we're dealing with a couple of different names here. They're really the same thing. Now, one other thing I want to point out is it is possible to customize the ribbon so that this option to shrink one page shows up on the ribbon itself. Let's take a look at that. If we go to the File tab and we go down here to Options, we can choose to customize the ribbon. And here on the ribbon, we could create a new tab. I could click on the new tab here, right click on it, rename it. I'll call it My Favorites. Click OK, and I have a group here, and I'll just rename this Finalizing Documents. So when I'm done writing a document, I just want to put some finishing touches on it. That's what this custom group is gonna be for. And then I'll just go here to All Commands, here at the left, and I'll browse down to Shrink One Page. There it is, and I'll click Add. Now Shrink One Page is going to be part of a custom group on my own custom tab and ribbon. So I'm gonna click OK, and take a look, here it is, my favorites. I can click there and then go to my custom group called finalizing documents and I can click shrink one page in order to shrink the document by one page. Let's see if it'll let me shrink it again. Notice it says, after several attempts, Word was unable to shrink the document by one page. Why? Because I had already done it once, so it was just too much to ask to have Word shrink it even more. So in this video, you've learned about the shrink one page tool, how to put it on your quick access toolbar, or on your own custom tab and ribbon, and we've looked at how it works and how it can help you. I hope you found this tutorial to be helpful. If you did, please like, follow, and subscribe. And when you do, click the bell and you'll be notified when I post another video. If you'd like to support my channel, please consider becoming a member of the channel. 
Join me and the rest of my community by signing up as a member. You'll get some special perks, including access to a behind the scenes monthly podcast where you'll learn more about technology and about the Technology for Teachers and Students YouTube channel. You can also support me by clicking the thanks button below the video or through my Patreon account, and you'll see information about those options in the description below the video. Thank you.